Hello, welcome back to Sky News. As the virus death toll rises, the way that we say goodbye to our loved ones is changing. Solicitors in the UK say they've seen a spike in a number of people seeking to make or update their wills amid the coronavirus pandemic. Joined now by the Chief Executive of Fair Will, he is Dan Garrett. Uh, to talk about what's going on at the moment, Dan, good afternoon to you. Hi. Um, it's never an easy subject to talk about uh, death. More people are wanting to update their wills and make plans. It seems that sadly, death is in you know at the forefront of people's mind, and, and they're being sensible about it in some cases. Yeah, I think that's definitely true. I mean, since the beginning of the year, there was kind of there was a couple of weeks where really you know we we saw about ten times the number of people come to our website and start making wills and very particularly it started in the nhs so we had you know overnight maybe five times the number of doctors making wills and within 10 days we had about 20 times the numbers uh, the, the number of people with nhs emails making wills so so i guess that's kind of where it hit first and like you said totally understandably i think it brings death to the forefront and people are uh, doing something that previously they'd put off otherwise yeah, of course, nobody wants to think about it even now, but, you know, it's quite, oh gosh, it takes my breath away that, you know, you say NHS staff are get, getting in touch with you. Um, obviously, that is the new reality we live in. Um, but what is the new reality as well is the way that we say goodbye to our loved ones during this pandemic, because there are restrictions in place that mean you can't necessarily be there with them. So how are people adapting in terms of saying their final farewell? I think it's a really good question. I mean, the whole sector's really been shifting over the last kind of 10 years. And it's really difficult for any family that has to deal with it. I mean, often someone dies out of the blue and you don't have a great idea of exactly how they would have wanted to be remembered. And, you know, opinions on that have been changing in the last 10 years. We're sort of less traditional, more secular. Um, whereas a lot of the funeral industry still sort of looks and feels overtly traditional. Um, so, I think this, in an interesting way, has really forced people to think differently about it. We've had, we've had, you know, amazing stories of these personal, thoughtful memorials that are either done in a really small group, whether it's setting off fireworks on out of someone's back garden or drinking champagne on a beach with kind of five or six uh, really close family members there or doing a kind of big party on Zoom. We had an amazing story of someone who was really close to her neighbours and the neighbours all got flowers together out of their own gardens um, in remembrance of this guy who'd, who'd, who'd uh, been a kind of very enthusiastic gardener. So, so I think it's forcing people to think differently about it, which overall was even happening before before coronavirus hit, but uh, there were a lot of video funerals going on at the moment, which which is a really interesting shift. Yeah, it's a really interesting, a really new way. Obviously, it's extremely sad. You know, some people are having to say goodbye to their loved ones who are dying from COVID-19 over the phone, uh, over FaceTime, over Zoom, whatever they can. But it's interesting, this idea you talk about of the virtual funeral. Do you think that will continue when we're out of this phase, which, you know, we really hope we are at some time soon? Do you think that's something that will be embraced going forward? Because in, in the main, it doesn't seem very personal, but obviously loved ones can't always congregate together. There's, you know, they're separated by oceans or whatever. Do you think this is the, the new way of doing things, perhaps? I think that's probably, I think that's probably, uh, you know, going to be an option in the future. I think what really is here to stay is people having the time to genuinely think about a kind of personal, thoughtful way to say goodbye to whoever they've lost. I think, uh, you know, we're going to see, it's a, it sounds like a slightly odd comparison, but it's similar to what's happened in weddings in the last 10 or 20 years, you know, where they're more individual, uh, they're more personal, and often they're less traditional. So I think that's a real trend that we are going to see continue into the future, especially, you know, for the last 10 years or so, the cost of funerals has gone up a lot. And I think people now are finding more affordable ways to do things in a slightly more personal way. I think I think that's definitely going to continue um, for, for the foreseeable future. Uh, well, Dan, uh, it was good to talk to you. Thank you. You make um, talking about a very uncomfortable subject very comfortable. Um, thank you for that.